All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble a Lenovo X270. So first what you want to do, close the screen, remove the battery. So the battery, you just pull one side, slide it a little bit, and then pull the other side, and then you should be able to slide the whole thing out. Oh, if it's caught, just do the other side again. All right, and there you go. So then what you want to do is just undo all the screws. Um, this little hole is like a CMOS reset. Um, so if something goes wrong with your BIOS, you can push this with a little needle and then that should reset it. So you can just press it just like that. Okay. Usually after you re remove the battery, you can press and hold the power button. This one has like a dead board, so not really a point, but um, I'm just going to show what it looks like inside. So undo all the screws. The screws will stay in place, um, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight screws. Once you undo all those screws, um, there's also this piece here that will be held in place. You can use a needle to remove it, or you can, if you don't have a needle to do this, so usually you use a needle to pop that out and then you can pull it out. But if you don't have a needle, once you undo all the screws, you can start um, prying this open. So you can use your fingernails or um, a pry tool and just go along the front like this okay so it's gonna be a little bit tough but just go all the way around um, it'll get stuck at this spot here because there's like sorry I don't know if you can see but there's not much plastic here so when you pull it down it'll come down and then this part will get stuck so what you want to do is you kind of hold it open okay just like that with your hand just hold it open and then while you're doing that if you didn't have the needle you can use your fingernail or pry tool and then you can actually pull this piece out, okay? Just like that. And then while you're holding that, um, you might not be able to get it from this side. So what you'll have to do is actually pull the back side around and go with your fingernail or pry tool. And then while you're pulling that, you should be able to slide the pry tool in there or your fingernail. And it, as you can see, it popped open just like that, okay? So again, go all the way around. The back sides here will be stuck. So once you get the sides out, you can actually lift it at an angle like this. And then when you get it at an angle, you can um, kind of push the bottom part forward while you kind of pull on this and then kind of just wiggle it, okay? Just like that, because there's the little latches here that get stuck. So kind of just pull on it. It's gonna be a little bit tough, but and just keep trying okay so if anything you could also like kind of just flip it up more um, you might have to raise this further from the base um, and then just go along the side and then while you're kind of pulling on it you can kind of pry it just like that with your fingernail or pry tool and that should help you get it open okay just like that okay there you go so now that we got this cover off you can see here all right, now you can see there's a stick of RAM. There's supposed to be, or there can be another battery here, but on this model, I believe the connector for the battery would be here. On this model, they just put like this plastic thing here with some rubber pieces in there. Um, underneath this, there's the CMOS battery. It connects right here. So to remove the CMOS battery, there's the two parts sticking out. You just use your nail and you just wiggle it and you can pull it out just like that. Okay. I don't need to do it. Same thing with all the other connectors. So the speakers here, same thing. You can just wiggle it and pull it out. There's the um, right speaker and the left speaker when you flip it over. Um, and then the RAM. This is the type of RAM you'd use. It's a PC4 uh, 2400T, so DDR4 RAM. Okay, so there's that. Then you got the hard drive. It's a two and a half inch SATA. Um, the hard drive connects here. Um, underneath this, there's a little latch that goes over. So to undo this, um, you have to flip this little latch up just like that. I don't know if you can see it in camera, but there's this latch here. And once you do that, you can pull it out. Um, you'll have to take out this one screw first for the hard drive so that you can lift it out. And then you can, um, once you do that, you can lift the latch and then pull this connector out because the hard drive's in the way right now. Um, I'm not going to take it out because I don't need to change all this stuff and I don't want to mess with more things in this computer other than what's necessary. Uh, but then there's this connector here. 
to remove that. You don't want to pry too much outside because this is flimsy. You want to get as close to this little rectangle piece here underneath. So when you pull it up, it just comes out. So this is for the fingerprint sensor and the trackpad. Um, I believe this is the keyboard. Or maybe I should maybe take out this fake battery just so you can see what's underneath. So this thing just comes out like that. So here you can see this. Um, I believe this is for the keyboard. And I think this is for the extra um, buttons for the, the trackpad. So these, the three buttons here. Sorry, the three buttons here for the mouse. So that I believe that's what that cable's for. Um, yeah, that's for the most likely for the keyboard. And then you got the other speaker here. The cable goes underneath. Um, you got the fan, fan connector here. You just flip up this piece if you want to um, disconnect the cable. And then you can pull that out, flip it back down. Okay, uh, what else? Then you got the DC jack here that connects right here. Same thing, you can kind of wiggle it. You can just grab it and then kind of wiggle it and it'll slowly come out. Then you got the SSD here. This looks like a SATA, M.2 SATA, but like a half size. Um... I don't know if you can see the model in this, but there you go, just in case you need that. Then you can see the wireless card here. The wireless card to remove the antennas, you just pull from the tail and then lift it up and it'll pop off. Um, and when you undo the screw, it'll go up at an angle. You have to put reinsert it back at that angle and then push it down and put, redo the screw. Same with the M.2. Um, but it looks like that's pretty much all there is to show here. Um, there's this connector for the LCD. Um, there's multiple LCD connectors, so I'm not sure which one's for the LCD, which one's for the camera. There's so many pieces. Let me see. And then I think that's for the power button, right? Yep. And the power button seems to have its own little board here. So there's a connector here just for the power button. Um, and that cable... Oh, interesting. That cable connects here. So this is most likely for the um, the camera and like the the light on the back here and stuff like that. So this one is more more likely to be the LCD cable since this power button cable is going into that. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully this video helped you. I know I didn't really take out too much stuff. Uh, but hopefully this will help you at least get into the laptop and figure out how to open stuff up. Um, if you're not too sure how, what you're doing, um, just be careful because you can damage things easily. Um, so hopefully this will just help people that kind of know what they're doing. The keyboard looks like um, you have to remove it from the back. There's some screws here holding it in place. Even though from the front it looks like you can remove it, but... Um, from looking at the back, it looks like you'd have to remove everything to get the keyboard out. I don't think you can actually take this keyboard out from the top. Alright, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please remember to like and subscribe because that will help me. And thanks for watching. Bye.